feeling I've done it wrong. What an idiot. Hi everyone, I'm Hales and I recently bought a sofa online which is an L-shaped sofa but the shop didn't sell covers for it. You will excuse the traffic noise, this one will be a very short segment in the video. I wanted some covers where I could leave the cushions out all during the day and for most of the summer time. Winter time and extreme weather everything will be tidied away and packed away safely but for the meantime I don't want to keep trailing backwards and forwards to the garage, it gets dusty in there, I have some dust DIY so I had a plan. I went to B&M Bargains and I bought three shower curtains and I thought I will have a go at making my own cover for the sofa because I couldn't find any online which were L-shaped and for this size they were all for humongous sofas which I have a tiny garden so I need a tiny sofa and a cover for that tiny sofa. Keep watching because I do make a huge mistake and um, I do rectify it in the end but keep watching to see if you can find out what that is and I'll see you in a moment. I've done it wrong. So that was the moment that I realised that every single seam that I had made I had sewn inside out. So the, the thing that the whole thing was inside out. When I clipped it what I should have done is then flipped that seam to the inside and sewn it from the other side because all the raw edges were on the outside and when I turned it the other way it was then a mirror image of the L-shaped sofa. So I had to unpick every single seam that I'd sewn and it was really different, really tricky and really tough on this fabric and then flip it to the other side and then sew it again. So now all the raw edges are on the inside and it is the correct way 
but it was a nightmare. So if you try this and you have a, an L-shaped sofa or any like particular one-sided shape, then you make sure that you can clip it, put your clips there so you know the right shape to make it, but then turn that seam to the inside so you're not a complete idiot like me. I realized that I needed to weigh down the cover so it wasn't carried away by the wind. So I made some pockets for each of the corners of the sofa. And so I tucked the raw edge in and did a hem on each side and hemmed the top. And then the bottom I left raw and then did a hem around the entire sofa, which then incorporated the bottom of the pocket as well. So this is the cover. It is no, by no means perfect. And I am getting a bit of rainwater settling on that bit there because it's flat. So I need to perhaps peg that bit up so it has more of a slope but it has done its job. We have had some heavy rain last night and the cushions and everything were perfectly dry. We also had a flock of seagulls go overhead and we all know what happens there. And so that was just wiped clean on the covers and all the cushions were protected. So I did add the pockets on each of those corners. They just have a couple of big pebbles in them and it just weighs them down because the wind was catching the cover and it just blew straight off. So I showed you in the video of adding those in. and. I'm quite happy that it does its job. So if you want to check out this video here, I'll show you how I recovered my IKEA tub chair and I still use that today. It's still in my sewing room and that is another project that perhaps would inspire you to do something for your home as well.